Speaking of um, wasted talent, best player in baseball right now might be Joey Votto, and he signs this massive deal, and it's 22 and a half per, per year. The funny thing is he's earned every freaking penny, and I, I'm not the only guy talking about the potential of a Joey Votto playing for the Blue Jays one of these days. We got about a minute here because uh, Darnell Nurse is coming on, um, but is there any way, shape, or form there's smoke to this? Could be. I think certainly when you look at it and uh, if, you, if you envision the, the Jays in the sort of post-Bautista, post-Encarnacion world, depending on how things go, certainly they'll, they want to keep enough money there to sign Donaldson long term. But this, in my judgment, Andrew, is an ownership decision. And if they look at it and say, listen, we've got a chance to potentially, if the Reds eat enough of the money, uh, because I think they're really financially strapped right now, if they eat some of the money to get out of the contract, the Jays look at it and say, hey, we've got a chance to have a native Torontonian be the face of our franchise uh, with what that would mean for potential TV ratings, just overall marketing. That's a fascinating story, and I do think, Andrew, there's some validity to it. Again, this, that's a total ownership call. I think that certainly the player we know Votto can play, first base not really spoken for long-term in Toronto. Interesting idea. I think if Encarnacion and Bautista to go away, let's see how the amount of money shakes up, but that really could work, I think, for Votto and the Jays at some point in time if the Reds eat enough of the money.